get that bag. But respectfully. Yes, respectfully get the bag. Yeah. Yeah. She did it to, to herself. herself. <laughs> like just. Sh- <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Honey Hearts podcast. I'm your storyteller, V. And I'm Sandra. And today we're going to be bringing you a very fun story. And I want to say that it's going to be completely heartwarming, but sometimes our stories do tend to have an ounce of heartbreak. So let's get into it. So this story is from the subreddit, Am I the A-hole? Am I the A-hole for cheating my coworker out of a free meal? I, 28-year-old male, work with this woman, Lydia, 24-year-old female, who's had a very annoying habit. She has a dating profile that she uses specifically to lure guys to buying her expensive dinners at restaurants that she wants to try and then ghost them. Lydia brags about this all the time and is never interested in actually dating, but she'll act like it to sell it. I can't stand this because it's playing with people's hearts, but Lydia thinks of it as a life hack to try food or drinks she otherwise couldn't afford. My friend, Daniel, age 32 year old male, is also on dating sites, but for the right reasons. His late wife died a few years ago and he's just starting to jump back into the dating scene. Daniel's a very sweet guy and I really want him to find a great lady. A few days ago, he texted me asking if I knew Lydia. They matched and I got to talking about work, which is how he found out we worked at the same place. I told him all about Lydia's BS with the restaurant thing and made it very clear that he would do best to drop things with her early on. Daniel said he'd probably still do the date but ask for separate checks. Well, they went out this past weekend and on Monday, Lydia came into work very upset. I asked her how her date with Daniel went and she ripped into me asking if I was the one who told him not to pay for her dinner. Apparently, she had Daniel take her to a high-end steakhouse, and she ended up splurging. She got a drink, a full entree with a side, and dessert, where Daniel just ordered a sandwich and a salad. Her bill alone came to 70-something, and she was almost in tears at work, as she didn't expect to pay for it, and now her car is low on gas. I got a little upset too as she tried to use my friend as a literal meal ticket, but somehow she doesn't see it that way. Daniel told me later the date was going kind of well until he asked for separate checks. And then Lydia just got weirdly cold. So now Lydia's mad at me because I told someone about her little tactic and it backfired on her. I don't feel like I did anything wrong since it was a grieving friend I was protecting, but some other people we work with said I should have stayed out of it because it was none of my business. Am I the a-hole? No. (laughs) That's a fast no. (laughs) Well, like, okay. Like, just hearing that Daniel went to dating, like, he went on dates with a good intention, right? Like, for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. And I think OP was justified in just, like, warning her friend of what to expect. I don't know. his friend. Oh, his friend. Mm -hmm. Was, and Lydia is also OP's friend. No, Lydia's just a co-worker. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, yeah, even more so. He doesn't really have any obligation to Lydia. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a lot. There's like a trend of some girls kind of using as a hack, like using dating apps sometimes uh-huh. as a hack to get to score like free meals for the week. Yeah. How, what's your take on that? So I actually knew someone that did that. Oh. <gasps> well, I don't think she used apps per se, but uh-huh. it was just... uh people she came across at her job so she worked at in like service job wait so she would do it with people she actually knew like well like customers uh, okay yeah okay. customers they're like let me take you out on a date mm-hmm. and she took them up on that offer mm-hmm. and i asked i'm like they're definitely not your type why why did you go and she just wanted an expensive dinner <sighs> i won't say we're close but um that was the first time i heard of that happening Quick interruption, guys. If you haven't yet, please help our channel out by hitting the subscribe button, liking the video, and hitting the bell if you're listening to us on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, make sure to follow to hear our next episodes. Thanks, guys. I have two takes on it. I think it's okay if the other person's aware, like that they're both consenting, like both parties are the consenting. This is something casual, like I'm okay with paying. Like if they're both okay with it, that's not my place to say anything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like in this case, people who, well, I want to say that a lot of people who are on dating apps, they want a relationship. Yeah. And so to do that, Mm. 
mm-hmm. solely on people on apps only i feel that's kind of you're playing with people's hearts okay i'm i might be a little jaded but i think there's actually a good number of people who are not seriously on the app or on the app looking for a serious relationship true i see that too but then i also don't feel like it's right to like approach a new relationship you know with the idea of oh i'm not like i have no interest in this person at all i just really want to get a meal like using them as a little meal ticket i'm kind of like no girl no yeah unless the other party knew yeah that that was her intention and they just want to go out with someone Mm -hmm. just like you know a hangout and they agreed to pay ahead of time i think that's fair I'm kind of glad that OP's friend didn't pay or Daniel yeah, didn't yeah. pay so that Lydia mm. knows it doesn't work all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I kind of think that Lydia got kind of karma yeah. coming back to her because if she's at work and she's bragging all yeah. about it. You get what you give out. <laughs> yes. That's well, true. it's not even that bad. You're just paying for yourself, right? It's not like she's yeah. paying for him. Yeah. It's not really a, a bad karma thing, actually. I think OP isn't the a-hole here because, I mean, you would want to warn your friend if you think they're yeah. going on a date yeah. with someone that, you know, might potentially not be a very good match or might be there for the wrong reasons. This is the first time that it's backfiring on her. I'm wondering yeah. how many times she's done it before. And I I kind of wish I was, like, there, like a fly on the wall watching it unfold. Oh. Like, I, I wonder what was her reaction when she got her half of the bill? Well, not even oh, half, like her bill. To be there and see her face and Daniel's yeah. face as he goes, separate checks, please. Yes. Oh, look, when it first dates happen, I think it's very nice. I don't, you know, expect as a yeah. given. It's a very nice thing if someone wants to pay for you. Yeah. But I would never purposely let me order like all these things and then expect Make it expensive yeah. on purpose. Yeah. No. I, I I'll tell you, my first date with my husband was a picnic date. Well. <gasps> It, so cute. it was COVID, but he like baked homemade banana bread. It's the box mix, but still, <laughs> <laughs> he still put it in the oven. And then he, yeah. Was, yeah, and then so, and I was just glad that he actually brought something. Oh, that's so yeah. sweet. Yeah. So I mean, I never really went on dates intending for you know to be treated. I guess some people do, but like to tr- be treated to like a super fancy meal yeah. and be totally covered. I don't know because. It's someone else's money. It's someone else's expenses too. Here's the thing though. On the other side, playing devil's advocate, right? (laughs) I feel like if I was sitting on the other side, it's not that, and it was clearly a date and they asked me out, like they picked the place, they asked me out. I think I would think or guess that they would want to pay. Especially, but whoever, like I feel like whoever's organizing it. Because in my head, it's more like whoever's organizing it. Yeah, whoever asks who out first. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would think the same thing for a girl. Like, if she asked a guy out with Wait, romantic intentions. Did Lydia ask Daniel out or did Daniel ask Lydia out? Oh, let me see if OP says anything about that. Um, So, it doesn't say. It doesn't say at all. Okay. But it just says they match. So, I wonder, like, I, I don't know. If yeah. Daniel initiated, hmm, it would have been gentleman-like to cover for sure. That's but at cool. the same time, if I was Lydia and like, you know, my my expensive dinner was covered, mm-hmm. I would probably offer dessert, like to cover dessert. Yeah, like yeah. some sort of like nice like gesture in return. See, I say that it would be nice if Lydia did that. But I know in my mind, <laughs> if I was on first date and the guy was like, you go ahead, order everything on the menu, I'll pay for all. I'd be a little swayed. Well, <laughs> but not everybody can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely yeah. understand. Different financial circumstances, yeah. too. <laughs> like, not everyone can be like, just order whatever you want. But See, my Prince Charming fan. <laughs> <laughs> How to win your heart. Just take you to a buffet. Okay, one thing I would say is kudos to OP. Because I feel like, okay, it's kind of weird sometimes to like interfere yeah. with your friends or someone you know. Because you want it to be natural. But I think OP made the right call. Because yeah. you, I mean, she's clearly same point blank she's not there for the right reasons and he this is his first date after his wife passed oh yeah that's right so yeah. i think it's a big deal to not have this be kind of like mm-hmm. like a surprise that this girl is really you know not there yeah, because for a long like time. if daniel didn't know ahead of time and then he was 
kind of like duped into paying for her he yeah. might like have a really bad taste in his mouth about dating and he might not want to date again you know yeah so like with the op's warning maybe it opens daniel up like hey look out for this mm -hmm. in potential dating situations yeah maybe he like you know he'll still keep going on dates i hope daniel doesn't stop going on dates yeah not everyone is like lydia let's see what the comments said uh top comment not the a-hole her luck finally ran out I question why Daniel still went ahead with a date after you clued him in. Unless it was to show her up, in which case, fair play. It's my kind of petty. I like it. <laughs> it's also my kind of petty. I just wish I was like sitting in the next table over. Just like seeing what's happening. Yeah. Uh, oh, OP actually responded to this one. Uh, OP said that Daniel did it because it's been a while since he's dated and he wants to get more comfortable with dating again after his wife died. I tried to talk him out of it altogether, but he said a first date would be good for him regardless. Okay. Oh, so I kind of like an icebreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I guess from Daniel's point of view, okay, I know what I'm getting into. I don't really have anything to lose here. Yeah. Makes sense. Good on him. Uh, another comment. Not the a-hole. She did this to herself. Reminds me of the Itzy song. Yeah. She did it to, to herself. herself. <laughs> you didn't, quote, cheat her out of anything. Her shameful ruse didn't work. If she can't afford her food, then she shouldn't go to the restaurant. I bet you Lydia doesn't make good financial decisions in general. If the $70 sets you back, then I think maybe her financial situation and decisions is just definitely not the greatest. And I would say, like, always be prepared to cover for your meal. Comment says, you did what was right and protected your friend from a scammer. The people saying you did wrong are people with opinions not worth caring about. Oh, yeah. Now I remember, it's because OP wrote this post because he was saying his coworkers found out about mm -hmm. what he did and how he warned Daniel. And now they're saying that he should have, you know, not been nosy and kept his nose out of it. No, I think OP should have said something. I would say, Petty Me would say, those coworkers need to keep their noses out of it. Oh, Because right. OP yeah. is protecting Daniel's financial, he's protecting Daniel's, like, wallet, really. Yeah. And, and his heart. Yeah, yeah, like to protect him from being taken advantage of mm -hmm. unknowingly. Like if he knows about it, that's one thing. If he doesn't, that's another. Yeah. And honestly, it doesn't have anything to do with those coworkers. Why are they sticking their nose in it? Um, another comment. Not the a-hole. This is a con known as, quote, lonely heart scam or just, quote, rom romance scam. You pretend to be romantically interested in someone, suck up as many gifts as you can, then ghost them. They often target widows or widowers because they're emotionally vulnerable. Oh, no. Lydia will is. deny it up and down because she doesn't see herself that way. But she's literally a con artist taking advantage of people. Oh, Daniel is a widow. Yeah. Oh, that is terrible. I didn't know. Did you know about this con? No, I didn't know that it was a thing. And that, like, there's a specific target. Yeah. Like, people who are emotionally, like, vulnerable. That's, that's, no, I don't think that's right. That's just yeah. morally messed up. Like, it's different if it's just, I was thinking, you know, outlier, random. Lydia's kind of honestly scummy, yeah. but Lydia's the outlier. Not like it's a known scam. Well, like, and the comment is probably right. She will probably deny it. She probably won't oh, yeah. admit that she's a con. Because mm -mm. what con would admit, hey, I am a con? Like, no one is going to straight up admit it. Mm-mm. Wait, the audacity to brag about this and talk about it at work, though. You know, like some people. That's gross. And I'm, I'm assuming some cons probably need to brag. Like they got away with something and oh, then they just like, have to tell someone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like hey, the look what I did. This is what I got yeah. away with. Oh. It's part of it. I think so. I think there's probably some like, like do you guys know the psychology behind that? I want to know. Like, have you guys, and also, have you guys heard of the Lonely Hearts scam? Or worse, if you have experience with it, let us know. Yeah. Very or have you curious. heard of anyone else who had experience with this? So, so I guess I've seen some version of the romance scam. Like, you know, in the movies or dramas where it's just, I guess, con artists, romances, like some heiress or some rich yeah. person and then ghost them. So I've seen, I guess that's, that's it. Like, I just didn't know there was like a specific name for it. So what do you, what do you think? Is OP the a-hole here? No. I mean, from the beginning, I said Opie yeah. was not the a-ho. Opie needed to protect Daniel's heart. Daniel's a widow. Yeah. And he is a target for these scams now that we learn about it. Yeah. Honestly, even without him being a widow, I would have said, you know what? You watch out for your friend. You gave him a heads up. Part of me wanted to be like, oh, yeah, get that bag, Liddy. But then, no, 
Daniel's a little. Here's the thing. Get that bag. But respectfully. If they're both yes, respectfully get the bag. Yeah. Like if Daniel was rich and he was like, and he's okay with it. Well. And he knew. Yeah, yeah. He was aware. And he's like, okay, I get the transaction. I pay for your time and not your emotions. Yeah. Get that back, girl. Mm-hmm. But we don't support the Lydia in this case. No, not not in this <laughs> case. That's messed up. And those coworkers, like, just... Sh- 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 <laughs> All right. So that was today's story. And let us know, guys, what you thought, whether you agree with us, that OP wasn't the a-hole. If you would tell your friend, if... Your friend wasn't similar to Daniel's case, or would you keep out of it like the coworkers say? Let us know. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Spotify. And rate us five stars on Spotify. Talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.